Um, I think it's maybe important to mention their ages. I did mention the ages. Did you? Right at the beginning. I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Um, then... <laughs> Hey guys, so we just got back from the vet because little Mr. Momo had to get an abscess drained. We'll maybe do a little video on that or a little story on that later. But anyways, today we're sitting with one of our old girls, Maya, because we want to do a whole video talking about what we've noticed with our aging cats and how they've how things have changed with them and how we have to kind of adapt certain things for them. So Maya is 12 years old and our other old girl is Alice who is 13 so she's the oldest we have and um, so we just wanted to run through a couple of things that we've noticed c concerns aging cats basically. So for example... Not really concerns like observations. Yes observations. Nothing, nothing, nothing to be worried about just something we've noticed. Nothing serious, just things to consider as well when, when you have a cat who is getting older. So, as you can see, Maya is currently sleeping. Well, she's not really sleeping, she has her eyes open. Um, this is what Alice and Maya do most of their day nowadays. So Alice used to be quite independent when she was younger, and she used to be outside a lot, and she wasn't really into cuddles and so on. And I would say in the last two years or so, she's gotten really cuddly. She barely leaves the house, she's very happy just being inside she spends most of her day sleeping on either the couch or the bed and then she basically her routine is every morning she'll go for a little walk in the garden she'll do her business and then she'll come inside and nap and same in the late afternoon she'll go for a little walk around the pool check the garden out maybe hunt a little bit if there's some lizards around and then she goes back inside we did notice that in winter for example she will spend more time outside but that's mostly because the houses in south africa aren't insulated very well so it gets very cold inside even if we heat so she actually really enjoys lying in the sun and getting her warmth from there so in winter she's actually spending more time napping outside and in summer she's spending most of her time napping inside and it's very similar for maya she'll basically have a little action moments during the day where she'll play a little but I would say probably for both of them nearly 90% of their time is spent sleeping. Yeah it's not like the other cats are more active really but... Well they're a little more active. They're, they're more willing to come and play. If we come outside Kebby will usually come and join us. Momo will be right out there. Whereas Maya and Alice we'll have to call them, we'll have to make a point of telling them come we're outside come join us where they're quite happy to just sleep yeah i guess and even when they do come outside they just sort of lie in the shade or they like to hang out but they won't really engage and play or anything so you can see maya is readjusting herself she's very cute hey, my old gal so both are in very good health um health is one of the things i wanted to talk about regarding older cats because cats are very very good at hiding illnesses and so especially with aging cats because they can get sick quite quickly and they can turn very to very serious quite quickly um, it's important to just keep an eye on on aging cats and make sure that if you notice anything that worries you even a little bit rather give your vet a call and ask if it's something you should be worried about even if it's just a small change in behavior just keep an eye on it basically we had a couple days ago Alice um, not Alice Maya didn't finish her food and then we just in the evening paid extra attention to make sure she did finish her dinner which she did so then we weren't too worried but for example if she had to skip dinner then we probably would have taken her to the vet the next day just to make sure that nothing's wrong with her otherwise there's also things you can do around the house to make their life a little bit easier because of course as they grow older their joints are going to start giving them problems even if they don't show it obviously it's like an aging human you're not gonna be as fit you're gonna have more trouble getting up places and walking down places so we try to be careful with the girls to not feed them in high places anymore not make them jump up into high places anymore so that most of their play is done on the ground they eat their food on the ground they don't have to go up on boxes or anything like that just to give them a little bit of extra help yeah and we try and sort of I want to almost say exercise them like try and keep them in good fitness as much as possible so when they are in that playful mood we will try and really uh, use that <laughs> playful moment as much as possible I mean they are still cute when they're older <laughs> so as yeah, you can see you can still get them to play even when they're napsing yeah and often even 
playing for them has become they don't run through the house like crazy like momo will chase his toys up and down the trees and through the garden and like crazy whereas alice and maya will rather it's minimal lie, effort lie in one spot and roll over and catch something and then pounce a little bit and then you know they don't do that run anymore but we try and keep them as fit as possible let's say i think alice has a better time with that than maya because she also has momo to keep her fit because they obviously we've shown in in our videos that they like to wrestle quite a bit and that's obviously something that momo starts but but um, Alice is always Sometimes happy. Sometimes Alice initiates. She'll sit behind a couch or something and pounce on Momo and then off they go. So Alice is easier. Maya, we do try to make an effort to to play with her more. And um, she does. We, we had a, a funny moment recently because um, there's flying ants in South Africa after rain. And they were coming out of the ground and they were flying everywhere. And we actually had all of the cats outside, even the old ladies. And everybody was hunting. And you could see Momo and Kebby were having no problems getting getting them out of the, the air, but Alice, who was outside, was actually not doing so well, so we ended up having to swat them to her level so that she could also have some fun with them. So it's just a question of making sure that they aren't missing out just because they're older. You can still play with them and you should still play with them and try to give them as much love as possible because you also don't know how long they're going to be around. So, you know, I'm a big advocate for giving them the best life possible and that includes caring for them when they're a little bit older. And we have adjusted their diets a little bit um, as you know all of the girls are on aging food but we tr do try and give Maya and Alice particularly a little bit more wet food than all the others just because to keep that hydration up because that is very important we know it's an issue with dry food that there is that lack of liquid but I mean they have water bowls standing out all the time and then the older girls do just get a little bit more wet food and we're also Alice can pretty much come to me and ask for food and I will generally try to feed her without the other noticing because she is on the skinny side. She's not very skinny, nice Maya, but she is thin. So she can basically, if she comes to me and complains, I will feed her extra. Unfortunately, we can't do that with Maya because she is on cortisone for her skin condition, which means that the cortisone will make her very hungry and she would eat all day if we allowed it. And then she would gain weight and obviously being obese would not be healthy for her. So she's on a strict diet, but she does get more wet food. They we're trying to keep them on a very healthy diet and a very good diet as far as possible as far as possible and adapt it to their age as well i know a few people have suggested raw food diets we might do a video on it at a future time or something but it's just something that's near impossible to do in this country just because you don't get the required supplements and that kind of a thing but as far as we can we do try and give them a required meal that will suit their age and so on we have um yeah like like toby was saying there's very little it's not uh, raw food is not wildly available for cats at all in South Africa. Dogs have just started so I've seen it around a little bit and hopefully cats will come around at one point but at the moment it, it, it would just be very difficult to to get that right and to make sure that they still get everything they need from the raw diet. So we found that it's just easier to keep them on the kibble and like we said before our kibble is also approved by our vets so we're not too worried of about anything like that. Then one of the other things I wanted to mention is something we've noticed in Alice not in Maya is that I swear she has a little bit of dementia she yeah. has these moments where she'll be completely cuckoo like I, I maintain that sometimes she'll have breakfast and then five minutes later she'll complain and I think it's because she forgot that she just ate and she's not actually hungry and then she also has her moments which developed really recently where she will like Toby said and that's something she really didn't do before she'll hide behind the couch and she'll wait for Kebby who's much bigger and uh, socially higher than her who will walk past her and she'll like smack her in the butt and then run away at like full speed and it's really funny to watch but I swear she's just going a little bit cuckoo in her old age but it is something we're watching if we at any point feel like it might require a vet visit um, we'll we'll sort that out um, she is due for her vaccines in March as well so I might bring it up with our vet then just to see if it is something we should be concerned about but otherwise they're living quite good lives so I don't think we have anything to worry about yeah and I think well we hope we'll still have them around for a long time to come we know that cats can live much longer than I mean the average span is around 15 years is what everybody says but uh, I've seen especially in our comments now recently that there seem to be a lot of cats that are getting to the 18s and 20s especially females from what I see so we are hoping that they'll be around for a very long time obviously no one wants to think about their pet leaving them yeah so we hope hope and pray that Alice in particular will still well <laughs> that sounds, that sounds terrible horrible. <laughs> 
But Alice is a bit of, a, of a, an item on the channel. I see a lot of people comment. They love the Siamese black cat combo. And a lot of people have her. Of course, we want Maya to be around long but as well. But we hope both of them will still be along for a long time. It's also tricky because we're a little bit worried, extra worried how Momo will react if something were to happen to Alice. Because the two are so bonded that we're genuinely worried that it might break his heart if she's gone. So hopefully she will. I, I have a deal with her. I told her that she must get um, to the new Guinness World Record which I believe is 33 years. So that's my deal with her. Whether she'll stick to her end of the deal, I don't know. Well, only time will tell. Anyways, if you have any fun stories about your aging cat or if you have some aging cat, share us a pic. We love getting those on Instagram and drop us a comment in the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads. And share our videos with all of your friends so that we can keep making great content for you guys. And we'll check you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.